Admiral's Log. The battleship Yamashiro has proven to be a valuable asset to our navy, defying the expectations of those who believe that 12-inch guns were no longer effective in modern warfare. The development of Yamashiro was met with skepticism, but her success in battle proves that we must continue to explore new designs. Her unconventional design has been both innovative and successful, and we have no doubts about her ability to take on any foe. Now, the ultimate test for Yamashiro has presented itself as she faces an entire British battle group alone. While some may see this as a daunting challenge, I am confident in Yamashiro's abilities to emerge victorious. We have trained our crew to the highest standard and our ship is equipped with the latest technology and weaponry. There is, however, one critical issue that Yamashiro faces. She has not yet been resupplied after her previous encounter. This means she is missing a substantial amount of her ammunition supplies. The captain of the Yamashiro will have to fight conservatively and make every shell count. I've ordered the captain to do as much damage as he reasonably can and to then disengage. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to episode 41 of the Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought Japanese campaign. Last episode I said Yamashiro could have probably handled this battle all by herself when she was engaged with enemy activity down in the Mediterranean. Um, well, the AI apparently said challenge accepted and the Yamashiro now stands alone. This lone battleship is going to have to take on four battleships, a couple of heavy cruisers, some lights and some DDs. I wonder if she has the shells to do it. I know that she has the firepower to do it, and I know that the AI ships are generally fairly terrible, but one against many is not necessarily a great recipe for a battle. So it is going to make for an interesting battle, I'll give you that much, but I might have to play this a bit more defensively than I normally do. Wow, we're already in contact with the enemy right from the get-go. That's because I'm spotting everybody and they're not spotting me. Okay, we're going to go to full speed. I'm going to turn away from the enemy. I'm going to buy myself as much time as possible. What are we facing here? Yep. That's your target right there. Um, H -E or AP. Range, 20 kilometers. AP, 10 inches of deck pen. I'll take it. Look at that. We're spotting everything. Thank you, Radar. Generation 1 Radar, it's not stellar, but it's doing a hell of a lot better than all the British lookouts right now. Alright. Slow me down to full speed. We're already getting some parcel pens. Come on then. Wait, full pen on this ship? This is your target, not the other guy. Who is that even? That thing must be bow heavy like hell. 28% chance. 18 kilometers out. I don't feel that they're very quick. The hell, dude. Oh! Okay, you're just dishing it out between everybody. <laughs> okay. No, this is fine. I mean, if you can damage as many ships as possible, by all means. I've already done 4.5k damage. Boink, ricochet. The problem is, this whole fleet is about to open up. So, I'm going to employ a bit of a, a sailing tactic. Tacking. I'm going to go and turn the other way. Kiting the enemy with me. And then, uh, when I'm going back this way, I'm going to slow down again. To boost my accuracy. These 12 inch mark 4s should very swiftly turn around. Yep. Okay, now we're going to slow down again. Who says you cannot attack with a battleship? <clears throat> Speaking of tacking, one of my hobbies turned uh, freelance business is drone flying, so drone aerial photography. And one of the things I got. Um, well, I, I shouldn't say I got inv invited to, but uh, I reached out to a local sailing cup, sailing organization, sailing club, because they had a couple of uh, matches. And last Sunday, I was actually involved with doing the drone flying 
for, or sorry, the aerial photography for one of those matches. It was really, really nice. I was part of uh, the small uh, contingent being two volunteers and the organizer on the start ship, which was basically a motor yacht, um, and it also allowed me to launch and retrieve my drone from there. And just getting really good footage of the various sailing ships that took part in the race. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a few up on the screen here and there. Because the Yamashiro is just taking some shots at these things. I really enjoy being out on the water. And, uh, well, that's kind of where this idea of tacking came from. I don't feel like my AP is doing enough. And the problem is I don't have enough shells left anyway. I've already done 6.5k damage and they haven't even seen me yet. HE, boom, partial pens, it's not enough. Gonna need more. Boom. No, we're gonna need more. I don't feel like I'm actually doing enough damage to this ship. I'm not even sure if Yamashiro has been resupplied after her last battle. I wouldn't be surprised if she hasn't. Because she was just involved in a fight in the last episode, and I'm not sure if she's had enough time to visit a port and get resupplied. Which would explain the lack of AP shells. Because I know the ship is dished out for AP. Sorry, for HE. No. Shells, ammo, standard. So, it should... Sorry, no. Max shells. Uh, main shells, max HE. Yeah, never mind. Shell ammo is how much ammo do you carry on total on the ship. My bad. We got a, a phantom fire here on the back. Come on, tell me what the status is of the ship. The contest. <clears throat> 23 knots. That's cute. What? I'm even getting... I'm getting farther away from this thing? Okay. Not quite what I was expecting. But the AI is really beautifully sticking to their formations. If they just sent this DD forward and start spotting... Then this would be a completely different matchup. No, there's too many ships for me to handle, considering my fairly limited amount of ammunition. So that's a problem. Which means I'm probably going to take down one battleship and then disengage. Because engaging all the battleships, I don't think I'll have enough ammo. And as old as the 16-inch Mark I might be, if they hit you, you're not particularly happy. Range. 16 still. At this rate, I'm just going to murder the crew on this battleship. 21%. <laughs> Poor thing. I spotted even more warships. Look at that. I can spot the entire fleet. And this DD can do 34 knots. This heavy cruising can do 32. This heavy cruising can do 35. But they're not actively using their spotters the way that they should. And it's seemingly costing them the battle at this rate. Whoops. See ya. They just spotted me. And now they lost me again. The contest is falling back. Hmm. In this case, I think it's probably best that I have the Yamashiro and not the Divine Broadside. Because the Divine Broadside could do a lot of damage. She can bring a lot of firepower, but she cannot run away very well. Because she is so big. She would be spotted the entire time. Wait. That's a pretty respectable chance to go through the deck. Half deck, 3.7 inches plus 122, so let's say 7 inches and change. Hmm... Look out. Yeah, look out for what? You're not looking out, are you? You're not looking out for your fleet, that's for sure. 
Oh, look at that. This ship does have a fairly modern 4.5 inch gun. The Mark IV. The Mark III 5 inch gun. Hmm. No, angle's not good. Angle is not good enough. Now, seeing as this battleship, the contest has fallen back, I'm going to go with a slightly different plan, which is not to murder any of their ships. Ooh, destroyed main tower. Look, if I can murder one of their ships, great. If not, fine. I'll just knock a couple of these guys down to 50-60% and stuff the British with a hefty repair bill. We're going to do a bit of economic warfare like that. Because then they'll have to start paying even more for getting their battleships back up and running. This ship has lost a lot of crew already. Nereus. So you're down to 66%. I was hoping that with the main tower out of commission, the fires would keep. Cramped quarters. Yeah, you're definitely going to get in trouble. Because not only do you not have a main tower to guide your people to damage control, but you also have fewer and fewer people to actually do said damage control. Interesting. And they might be the lead ship, but without a main tower, they can't spot very well. So they'll not be able to see me at all. 26% lost. Down to 366 HE shells. Potential problem. <clears throat> Destroy the main gun? Okay. With HE. Interesting. Destroyed funnel. 31% crew lost. Destroyed main gun again. Okay, I think they've had enough. Switch to the Anson. We're going to attack again the other side. Instantly four fires. These ships are pretty expensive. 153 minus 283. So two British battleships in price make up one of my battleships. Contest and Nereus are badly damaged. Mars has also taken a couple of pretty bad hits. More damage to main guns. Oh, you spotted me. This is what happens when you have a ship that actually has a functional main tower. Holy crap, they're badly, badly burning. More. Destroyed secondary gun. Because we can. Chance to pen is pretty bad though. Switch to the Mars. With semi armor piercing. Rudder damaged. Switch to the peak. We're going to get everybody some attention. The problem is, I'm down to almost no ammo. Ooh. Not half bad. How much armor you got? Not that much. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> the Mishiro still hasn't taken a single hit. She just had 31k damage. Criminal. When do my secondaries open up? 8.8 .8 with HE. Okay. Got almost no ammo left. This is concerning. I have to make deal with what we get. <clears throat> if I can knock down a couple of battleships to 20 or 30% lower than their structural integrity used to be and kill off a heavy cruiser, then I'm all for it. Holy moly, you're done. And they lost sight of me. Wait, are you guys sticking together? Somewhat. Yep. The arrogant. Come on. Oh, I was hoping to hit the light cruiser because of that. Come on. Accuracy is only 7% though. Ceasefire. 
So I killed a heavy cruiser. I brought the Nereus down to 40%. I brought the Mars down to 76. The Anson to 83. And the Contest to 61. I'd say the Yamashito all by herself without taking a single hit has done a lot of work. Let's get the Anson some more attention. 31% chance to hit. I'll take it. Let's just get some damage on this guy. Up the repair bill. Increase my victory point score. How's the crew doing on the others? 11%, 34%, 25%. Okay. So they still got plenty of personnel aboard these ships. For now. I'm going to hang on to the last of my AP shells, so I might be able to blow a light cruiser or something out of the water. Although with these HE shells, you might as well be able to do that with an HE shell itself. Oink. Turn. You're taking fire, Yamashiro. Ooh! They hit! Who did that? Who did that? Was that the Mars? Yeah, the Mars hit me once. Taking down 14% structural integrity. Ow. Hmm. Well, I guess it was a bit too good to be true. <clears throat> to keep this going for very long. I'm gonna do it again, damn it. More fires. 27% crew lost. Can I take this guy down? That's spacious quarters. It's gonna be difficult. Oh well. I think that the Yamashito has done remarkably well for the hand that she was dealt. Hey, that's the Nereus again. Can we finish them off? No. I only have a couple of AP shells and that's it. Okay, it's time to disengage. The Yamashito has spent her entire main ammo. All of it. All she has left is secondaries. And even those are starting to go a little low, because I think a secondary got destroyed. Which always takes down a bit of ammo. Go away. You might be faster than I am. But I'm far more deadly than you are. Range 8.8 .8 on the HE. I think the fours don't actually have a good angle towards the stern. Oh, they don't. Uh, the battleships are about 16 clicks out. Okay. Turn starboard. Get the guns on the Marmion. She might be smoking up now, but I don't think she'll be able to do that for very long. And if I'm doing 32 knots in a turn, it's going to be pretty difficult for them to torpedo me and for those guys with the, the bigger guns to hit me. Go on then. Send your torps. Yeah. If you're in a turn, the AI just doesn't have a clue. The lookout is still somebody to pay attention to. This thing can still shoot me. Come on, give me a couple hits on the lookout. I just want to either slow them down or knock them out altogether. So that I can escape from this battle. Come on. Engine damage, flooding, I don't care how you do it. Destroyed funnel, that would do it. 22 knots. Yeah, they're starting to slow down. No, they're starting to speed up, in fact. Now they're going to slow down. And the lookout... Seemingly has shit torpedoes, 6 kilometer range. So they can't exactly intercept me here. Turn. 
I'm still waiting for the lookout to lose her torpedoes altogether. She's not doing that. Oh. Fixed. Marmion. She might not be the primary threat. But I still want to get rid of her. The enemy battleships are now 20 clicks out. With a chance to hit of less than a percent. Most of them. Oh, these things have really shit range. You need to increase the barrel length on these 2-inchers. They're really bad. 5.3 kilometer range. Hmm. These guys in the smoke screen, it's making it pretty difficult. Let's slow down, boost some accuracy that way. 12%, destroy the main gun. Flooding. 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 Fire control damage, destroy main tower. Good night. 17 knots. I think that if I kill the other destroyer, they're going to lose sight of me. They simply won't be able to keep up. I should be able to still see them with my radar. Oh, come on. A bit more. Where are you shooting at him? HE. Good choice. Or is this thing armored? That's somewhat armored. one. Next, lookout. Which is more apps than they probably uh, realize. <clears throat> Go on. We still have torpedo launchers all the way on the back. And they're probably not fast enough to keep up anymore. 21 knots. Yeah. I can still do about 32. Dude, your smoke screen. Kick away the smoke screen. Get rid of it. Five minutes of vaping and they're done. Accuracy 6%. I'm kind of waiting for the lookout to launch her torps. At which point I'll just sprint away. 25 knots, it's fine. Come on. Destroyed secondary tower. Primary tower's down, secondary tower's down. One of the funnels has been destroyed, secondary funnel destroyed. Back to HE. Apparently penning the hull is not going to happen. So no flooding. Destroyed another funnel. That torpedo launcher is living a really blessed life. Oh. Or that. Okay, well, Yamashiro, I think it's just about time to head out, so end the battle. You've done remarkably well, gaining 1,368 victory points. Sinking three ships? Oh yeah, sorry, the heavy cruiser. While taking almost no damage yourself. Outstanding performance. Really nicely done. Interesting to see that the Yamashiro is considered medium damaged. It's going to take five months to repair her. She's currently in the Western Mediterranean, so most likely... Bloody hell. Most likely in Gibraltar. Uh, the enemy has taken a couple of hits to their ships. Is that the Nereus? Yeah, the Nereus has already been damaged in my battle. Okay. Italians as well. Wait, I have been damaged. The Matsushima was damaged by a mine and destroyed. Wow. Same for the Kuma. What? They managed to sink the Okaho... Okay. Okay. The, Ku the Kuma cannot be sent into battle. That might have to do with the fact that she was sunk. Just throwing that out there. Maybe because she was sunk... Does she not have enough crew? Where's the Kuma? Yeah, she's no longer on the list because she's dead. It's this this position around Ireland, isn't it? 
This is where I was going to fight. This is where I was going to invade. But there... <laughs> Supposedly there aren't any minefields. Whatever. Look at that. I got a lot of ships coming in for repairs now. Not great. Nevertheless, undeterred, we shall push into Ireland. Yes. Is that going to be successful? Uh, maybe. It's tricky. Do I have ships coming off of the assembly line? I hope so, because I could use a few. I've got ships being repaired in two to three months. Yamashiro and Nishi no Tori. Uh, I thought we were building a bunch. Yeah. <clears throat> The Divine Empire, the third of the Divine Broadclass ships, coming out in about three years. Then little under two years and almost three years. Damn. I don't like that I lost a battle cruiser to a mine. Right. So, you'd think that these destroyers, sorry, that these submarines, even though some of them, one of them is a mine layer, these should have a pretty decent chance against this battleship. Let's see what the auto resolve says. Is it going to be damaged at all? Will the submarines have been sunk? Light damage. Not bad. Not bad. How many ships do the British still have? Another 15 battleships have been destroyed. Damn, son. Your tonnage is growing a little wary. The British, however, undeterred, fight on with a 3% growth to their GDP. And mine? 6%. So, my economy is now bigger than that of the US. Oh, sorry, than the USSR, China, Spain, certainly Germany and Austria-Hungary. Italy is still bigger. Interesting. US is 915, France is 712, and the British are 838. So I'm still way away from that. Research-wise, what are we working on? I'm not prioritizing anything, I'm just letting the game take its course. All construction, less ship flaws, that's good. Armor quality, modern armor 1, that's really nice to get. We're going to get big guns, Mark 5 12 inch, Mark 4, sorry, Mark 5 4 inch. Turret mechanisms will allow me to do what? Electrohydraulic turrets. Better turret reverse speed. Okay, that's useful. Gun layout is going to give me advanced bulkhead protection, less flash fire chance. We're going to get a new a submarine hull, the ocean going sub 4. Good. I like this. <clears throat> Progress is being made everywhere. We just got a new engine? Oh, we got marine diesel too! That's nice. That's going to save me some weight. Because Marine Diesel 1 have less horsepower per ton. Smoke funnel capacity is better. I'm sorry, uh, funnel capacity is better. Smoke interference is less. Engine weight is less. Yeah, this is pretty damn good. It's going to take a few months for me to overhaul all the ships. But once I have that, I should be able to put additional armor on them. Especially if I tend them that. With the better armor quality, modern one. It's all looking pretty good. I like how we're getting this campaign going. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed that one versus many. The ship survived, even though she's going to need a couple of months of repair. She's probably where is she? I was expecting her in Gibraltar, but she might be here. What? Olbia. Olbia. That's the way the Yamashiro's at. Okay. So she's there. She's safe. And she's going to get herself fixed. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon for more.